Hi guys, welcome back to the new video in the playlist. In the previous video, that is the part 1, we have seen how to connect our app with the Firebase. And then now, we will implement or that is integrate our Google sign-in with Jetpack Compose. So, and then it's just a reminder that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then click on the subscribe button below and then click the bell icon to get notified on every new video posted. So, come on, let's start now. And then we'll start by creating a utility method. So, that will provide Google sign-in client. So, I have created a package. And then I have created a Kotlin file with the name Google sign-in client. and then here so we'll create the function with get google sign in client and then this extends google sign in client and then we'll create a variable with the name sign in options. So inside the variable, we'll put a default sign in from the Google sign in options. So we need to import this. And then we'll request uh, the email dot request email function and then we'll build this then we need to add the return so return statement to Google sign in and then we'll get the get client so which we have given contacts and sign in options. Add plus enter to import that. And then that's it. Inside this, we'll create another class. We'll create contract for activity result API, which will get sign in result from Google Prompt. So we have given a class name with auth result contract. So this extends activity result contract. Okay. And then. So this will have uh, default implementations. So we need to implement the members of this class. That's the, we have uh, two members. So it's that create intent and then parse the result so we'll get that we'll implement those members so select uh, both okay and then we got we'll create the intent and then we'll parse the result And then inside this, we'll put our Google sign in client, get Google sign in client, which we have created now that's a before context and then sign in intent. inside this will return our result code so we'll use the when to validate so 
will get the result ok from the activity and then we'll check google sign in dot get signed in account from intent or else it will do null and then that's it so we have created the starter code for google sign in client and then we also get the sign in result from the google prompt and that's it for today so in the next video we'll be going to create a composable function for sign in button that's the ui for sign in button and then after creating the ui will create a authentication view that contains a sign in button and the error text to display and then uh, we'll also create a finally we'll create the authentication screen so that will launch google sign in in prompt so upon clicking on sign in button and then it will also navigate to the home screen if sign in is successful or not or else it will show its error so that's all we are going to do in this uh playlist so at the end of this playlist you will be get to know how to create a google sign in how to do the implement google sign in with the jetpack compose so then that's it for today i wish you an awesome day we'll see you in the next video bye bye keep watching the series